Well, good morning and uh, welcome back. So the reason we're up like a little bit early today, by which I mean, we're normally up by now anyway, but we're intentionally up early today because today is a huge turning point for what feels like our entire family because today is Luke's first ever day of kindergarten. And it has just uh, been a very big event happening in the house. Did you balance the camera on the potty? Yeah. Did you put the potty on the kitchen counter? Mm-hmm. Okay. I thought it'd be done before you came back. What do we got? Uh, we got some ham sandwiches and goldfish and pepperonis, some strawberries, some Swedish fish. Little pack lunch. And we'll put a little cheese in there. He said the colored goldfish are his favorite and he really likes the green. Oh yeah, why? He told me the green ones are just so like buttery and salty and like a little peppery. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna be a chef, y'all. Man, you know, it all started with the rainbow goldfish. <laughs> Luke has been slowly making his way out of his bed fort into the rest of the room. As you can see, there he is, almost out. <laughs> what you doing, Nate? Yeah. There he is. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? What are you doing? Are you smudging my camera? <laughs> oh, thanks so much. <laughs> are you so excited about school? No. No. <laughs> what are you eating for breakfast? Strawberries. Yum. <laughs> My buddy. All right, look at me, buddy. Oh my gosh, I just dropped him off. It's like the most bittersweet thing ever. It's like so precious. Just on the drive, I think he's just been so nervous about it. Like we've been talking about it a lot and he had his little orientation and stuff uh, yesterday. And like, it, he's just, it's so, it's like so precious. He's like, I'll, even on the drive here, he'd be like really excited about riding the bus and then be like, I don't want to ride the bus. I don't want to do it. You pick me up. And then just so many highs and lows just on the, on the drive here. So, oh my goodness. Oh man, I, he's going to be fine. He's going to crush it as soon as he gets in there. But definitely, I mean, it's a big step. It's a big day all around. Well, I'm not going to lie, you guys. Part of the reason I wanted to start filming again this exact week was because I thought it was like it's like a new it really feels like a new like season of life it's like sort of happening because like Luke's going to school that's going to be different for the whole family but there was like a uh, you know I'm also I also just started training for a half marathon so it's like this new running season uh going on uh just you know I felt it felt like a, a good starting point but literally since this morning maybe my running dreams have been crushed I don't know I'm gonna find out here in a little bit but I was at the gym I was doing like a deadlift and just something something in in the butt region just like popped horrible shooting pains all the way down my leg had to like lay down I mean I can feel it right now I'm walking every step hurts uh, I don't know if maybe the swelling is starting to go down I don't I don't know just uh, maybe the new season of life is it sucks getting old oh my gosh that's maybe that's the season season of getting old great Luki! hey there what are you doing taking your pants wet oh well that's no good oh man all right well today ended up i guess being eventful in ways i wasn't expecting what with uh hurting my butt this morning and stuff that wasn't great but otherwise luke's first day i think went really well um you know he got on the bus all by himself which is more than i did in kindergarten you know i think my mom picked me up the entire uh the entire first couple years i went to school i didn't ride the bus at all so i was really proud of him for doing that just proud of him all around sounds like it went really well there was no no tears or anything at least well there was during drop off but after that no tears um sounds like uh he made a little friend on the bus 
uh, had didn't you know got along with all the kids and stuff like that. They have two recesses, so that's pretty exciting. They went to the gym today, so all around good first day. I think positive experience, and even just tucking him in, I think he was just like he's just in a better mood overall. Like a lot of times when I'm putting him to bed at night, it's always like, Daddy, one more thing, one more thing. I need water. I need this. I need that. And I just talked to him, in and he just said good night, Daddy, and went to sleep. And I was like, Whoa, that's a little bit different. Yay, <laughs> let's do more of that. So uh, only one day, about a bazillion more to go, but off to a good start, I think. All right, we're out at the garden. Luke has spotted some red tomatoes. We've had some very tiny ones, some little cherry tomatoes, but I think we have our first big red tomato. Luke's gonna have to do all the picking up because uh, my butt hurts so bad, I'm not gonna be able to bend down. And uh, very bad for gardening, but I'm excited because Luke's better at getting in there anyway and getting in between the, the jungle that is the tomatoes. Whoa! Luke, what do you find? A tomato. A tomato, a red one? Oh, I see some red ones. That's fantastic. Get All right, let's get in here. Look at those guys. This is our first big tomatoes. Good job. Here, I got this basket right here. You can put stuff in. Put them in gently. Don't throw the tomatoes. There we go. All right, Luke's heading into the jungle. That's okay if they're small. If it's red, you can go ahead and pick it. Hey, you got a tiny one? Yeah. Nice. This is like a hanging jungle. Like a hanging one? Yeah, look. Show me. Right. Whoa. Don't forget to write stuff down. Okay, I'll write it all down. Apparently I've been relegated to uh, inventory back here, which I guess fine by me. Looks like we're gonna have a good harvest. Oh, look at that big one. That one's gonna turn red soon. Look at it. Almost. Thanks. Easy, if you see them this color, we should probably leave them on there. Oh my gosh, I hate to be like a literal pain in the butt, but it's so bad, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't, I had to stop twice on the drive to work to get out and just walk around to stretch it because the thing that hurts the most, and this is so frustrating, is sitting. Oh, it hurts. And it's, I mean, look, I was looking forward to this day all week because we've been so busy, but today, like Ben is going on a trip tomorrow, so he's gonna be out of office. So today, we're just filming a ton of stuff. And I love days like this, because it's like, it's very just like sit and do the thing. You know, it's be in the chair. We have to record an episode of Popcorn Culture and an episode of Box Breakers. And we actually have a special guest coming in to record like a bonus episode of Jay vs. Ben for like a couple of weeks from now. And all of those things involve sitting in a chair for like 40 minutes. And I was so looking forward to it. And now I'm like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stand or something. It's like, ugh. Benjam! Yo! Are you so excited for our day of recording? Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. We're doing a pop, and then we're doing a box breakers, and then we've got Jake the Viking coming up for a Jay versus Ben, and then I pretty much need to aim to leave early in order to leave for like a six hour drive tonight. So Woo. it's gonna be a busy day. As I mentioned earlier, I'm, you know what? It's sort of a blessing in disguise that I'm not going on this particular trip because there's no way I could sit in a car for six hours at a time right now. Ben, I'll tell you what's popping today. What's popping today? It's, it's, it's my tuchus. Welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, we're standing today. We're standing today. Yes, we're uh, mixing it up a little bit because I've incurred an injury that requires a stand. Uh, what are you doing? I just wanted to hang a little bit. Yeah. I'm just hanging hang out. Just hanging out. Yeah. Does it look really cool? I mean, it's the coolest you've ever looked. Yes. What's that, man? Seconds. Oh, okay. Welcome <laughs> to the office. Yeah, great. That's a great intro, right? <laughs> All right, we have a special guest in office today. It's Jake the Viking. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm going to beat you in a quiz. Oh, so unlikely. Oh, so I, I, I unlikely. Mean, I, the thing it's, is that I'm not likely to win either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you team up against him. I know, yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, it's I don't so like unlikely. I don't like the sound of this <laughs> at all. Now it's on. No, yeah, they're gonna be like sharing answers over there. Never. Yeah. <laughs> Never. What? 
Hey, brother! Hey, brother! And <laughs> welcome, everyone, to another edition of Jay versus Ben versus Jake. Oh. All right, Jay versus Ben versus Jake done. And on cue, Steven showed up with just all of the Pokemon cards, which uh, I know. So, Steve, give me which which one are we gonna? What's got the Charizard in it? Yeah, what's got the Zard in it? Uh, I feel like number two. Number two? Yeah. All right, we'll report back. All right, I know the Pokemon cards aren't things most people care about, but we did pull this Charizard card, which is like freaking epic and like the best card in the set. So I'm pretty excited about that. Kat, what do we got there? I don't, I have no idea. I went to the post office for the first time in a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, this has been here since July, so sorry oh. to whoever's in it. Whoops. <laughs> um, but um, the slip did say that it was from Jay Chan, so oh. I'm assuming Jackie Chan. Right, yeah. that, that'd be amazing. For sure. He's a big fan of the channel. He's a big fan of the channel. Yeah, well, I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, hold on. I think it's from Australia, did it say? Uh, it's it's Jocelyn Chan. Jo Jocelyn? Jocelyn Chan? Jocelyn, um, well, thank you for, in advance for whatever it is. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. It looks like, oh man, it's Whoa. like Star Wars and Harry Potter something. What is it? Oh, it's huge. It, oh, it's, yeah, it says, oh man, it's so big. It says Amber and Reed, oh, it's a diffuser. So it's like, a, Ooh. oh, look at, oh my gosh. It looks so fancy, look at it. Oh my gosh. Harry Potter short story, what is this? This is incredible. Well, that's neat, I don't know, is this? Oh, this is like the diffuser, I think you put that in there, that's what really Yeah, that makes smell. sense. Oh, so there's like one wow. for each house. That's so cool, oh man. Oh man. We have Slytherin, Hufflepuff. What are these? Oh, these are car fresheners. Oh, that's what? That's so cute. Oh, it's like a whole box of smells. Smell. Oh, I can smell. smell like the Death Star in my car. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Ooh, this one is so good. Are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? Obviously, I want the Darth Vader one. Okay, I want the baby one. The Mando one and the <laughs> oh, man, these are awesome. Actually, I don't always love car fresheners, what but does the Death Star smell like. We're gonna find out. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, what is? I feel like the Darth Vader one's got to be the most. Here, Ethan, oh, you wanna open the baby good one? one? Sure. Cedarwood. Cedarwood. Here, open that for me. Tell me what it smells like. Smells like, I don't know, like laundry? Man, there's so many different little air fresheners. Okay, so that's gonna be fun to try out. That is so cool, thank and you so much. I think in addition to the diffusers, oh, are these, I think they're candles. about to be candles. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, whoa, fancy candles. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Whoa, look at those. Look at the side. Oh, so glittery. This one smells very sweet. Can you smell? Yeah. This one smells like potpourri. Ooh. 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 Man, that is sweet. And like apple-y. Yeah. Man. Okay, well that's cool. That is incredible. Thank you so much. What else do we is have? This is this from, is... what's the company? Short Story. Short Story. Big old Short Story. Check them out. There's like necklaces. Ooh. Oh, I love that. This one's got a snitch Ooh, on it. Sorry. Oh my gosh. And I think this is. This is a cat. <laughs> what are oh these my guys? gosh. Like... Wow. Oh man, are these pins? <gasps> we love they a pin. They are pins. Whoa. No, they're not pins. They're. Like medallions? Yeah. It's got a Ooh. hole in it. Like you're supposed to put it on a necklace. Oh, cool. Okay, that's platform Ooh. nine and three quarter earrings. Oh my god. Come with these little vials. Those are so cute. This is such nice packaging. Yeah. Like you gotta like give props. Oh, it's like Snape and a potion, I think. Oh, he's upside down, but yeah. Uh, it's very cool. Delivered. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, this is awesome. school being completed and how proud of them that we are, um, we decided to take him out to his favorite restaurant. It's called Kabuki. It's a Japanese steakhouse, so they do all like the hibachi stuff in front of you. So we're here right now. Woo. We got all the grandparents. Should be fun. Last time we came, Nate was a little afraid, afraid of the fire. So hopefully, hopefully we're okay. <laughs> How's Nate doing? 
Sip the water. No, no, okay. Don't there you go. That's good. Just the water. One more. That's good. So funny. Just drink the water. First time with a water fountain, bud. <laughs> <laughs>